Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be a proof. Um, well, it, it's a proof that proves that um, zero does not equal two times zero. Okay? All right, this is the proof. Or the same thing as zero doesn't equal three times zero. Um, every zero is unique. If this zero is here, it is not equal to, for an example, um, the s it was it would not be equal to the square root of zero or the or zero squared. These are not equal, and I'm going to prove that these are not equal so you, that you can understand how to divide by zero. Okay, that's why we're messing up in our division by zero is because we don't understand what zero really is. Here's the proof. Take, an, take a number like this, or an equation like this. X minus 1 over X. Okay? As we stick a larger value for X, um, we begin to approach a number. And uh, that number is 0 0.99999 nine, nine, infinitely. Okay? That's what we're approaching as we put a higher and higher number for x. And um, that's what we're approaching. So um, I'm going to give you an example. For example, if we put, let's say, 1 here, put 1 for x, put 1 minus 1 over 1, that equals 0 over 1, which equals 0, right? Okay, that's what you get. But put a higher number for x, and you'll get closer to 0.999 infinitely. Watch. We'll keep that 0 there. And we're going to put 2 instead of 1. That's 2 minus 1. That's 1 over 2. And that equals 0.5. As you can see, we're getting higher and closer to this. Infinite. 0.999 infinitely. You put a 3 in there, for an example. Put 3 and 3 here. You get 3 minus 1 equals 2 over 3, which equals 0 0.66. 0 0.66. Do you see that every time you put a higher, higher number for x, you get closer and closer to a, a 0.9999 infinitely, okay? So our goal is to get to 0.9999 infinitely. But how do you get there? I mean, if you keep putting these numbers in and it gets closer and closer, like if I put 500 in there, um, for an example, 500. If you put 500 and um, 500 here, that gives you 499 over 500, which is point, equals point. I believe 998 I believe but it's it's an 8 there at the end so it's not all nines but how do you get all nines well this is how you get it you have to use numbers with one I'll, I'll show you for example to get something with all nines you would put something like 1 and 0 that would be 10 put 10 down here you get 9 over 10 which equals 0.9. So we want an infinite amount of nines, right? We want an infinite amount of nines. So how, or or a continuous amount of nines. How do we do that? Well, you put more zeros in front of it, and you get another nine. If you put a hundred, you get another nine. You put another zero, and you'll get another nine. So as you keep putting zeros you'll keep getting nines do you understand you see what I'm saying so so therefore this number is getting closer and closer to one for every for, for example one is gets very close point nine is close to one right yeah it's pretty close but this is closer to one but this is also closer to one and as you put more nines, you get closer and closer to the accuracy of one. But it will never, ever turn.
turn into one. Point nine 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 infinitely will, will infinite uh, will uh, will constantly go to infinity of nines, but it'll never get to one. It'll get closer and closer and closer. So how do we get to the highest level? So that means this is the highest you can go. The highest you can go is point nine 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 infinitely. That's as close as you can get to one, but you'll never get there. So for an example, how do we get that? Well, as we just showed, all you have to do is put one and then a zero and then a zero, zero, zero infinitely and then do that minus one over one, zero, 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 zero infinitely, okay, which equals point nine, nine, nine to infinity okay if you keep putting infinities or zeros on the one you'll always get to point nine 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 so you're getting closer to infinity so if we were able to put infinity in this equation instead of a number put infinity minus one divided by infinity equals point nine 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 forever that's what this means. So that's what infinity is. Infinity, if you stick infinity inside for x, that means you will get a whole bunch of nines. And they will continue to be nine forever. They will never reach one, but it will get close to one every time. So that means, how do we do that? That means infinity would have to be one, zero, 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 infinitely. Because this is as high as you can go. That means th this is as high as you can go to get to one. You'll get as close as you can, but you'll never reach one. That means that this is as high as you can go. One with an infinite amount of zeros is as high as you can go because this won't go any higher. Therefore, this is as high as you can go. So because this is the limit as it goes to 9999 nine, nine, nine infinitely, then this is, that means that X limit is one with an infinite amount of zeros that is the limit that X can go to so basically that means that infinity really is one with a infinite amount of zeros that's what infinity really is okay we just proved that by saying because we know that the highest you can go is nine with a whole bunch of zeros. I mean, or a nine with a whole bunch, of, a whole bunch of nines. That's as high as you can go. It never reach one, but it'll get closer and closer to one. So the same thing with this. If how do you get all nines? The only way you can get all nines is if you put a one with all zeros. So therefore, this is as high as you can go. And um, you know, because if you put nine for an example. If you put 9 over 9, that would be 8, and you'll wind up getting 0.9998, something like that, which we know that's not um, a correct number. We know that's not, we need all 9s, so in order to get all 9s, you have to have something with a 1 with infinite amount of zeros in order to get all 9s. That's the only way. So, so also... Let's find out what zero is. Zero is, let's see, we're going to take that equation right here and we're going to change it to this. One minus one over x. They are, the e they are equal. They equal the same thing. I just rechanged it so we can see it better. If we put the infinity here as we did it for x and put it on this equation, which is the same as this, we'll get one minus one over, uh, let's just say infinity. Now let's give an example. Okay, if we put two, we get one minus one half. That equals one half. And if you put three, that number gets smaller, and it gets smaller and smaller. So that means the bigger the number is for x, the smaller this one gets. So that means as we go higher and higher to infinity, we get 0.99999 because we're getting close, we're, we're subtracting from 1. 
So that means that 0.9999 is the answer. So how do you get 0.9999 as you go to infinity? Well, you put 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 infinitely to get that. That's what 0.999 is. So that means that this number right here, that means that 1 over 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 infinitely equals 0 0.00001 but it's infinite okay so that means that 1 divided by 1 over 0 uh, 1 uh, to an infinite amount of zeros is actually 0 0.0000 infinitely with a 1 attached to the very end of it so we got 0 equals 0 0.00001 infinitely and infinity equals point zero 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 uh or one but one zero 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 so that's what infinity is and that's what zero is so for an example if that's the case if zero equals that then guess what that means that means that one over x and 2 over x and we want to find out as this goes to infinity as um, x goes to infinity does it equal 2 over x as x goes to infinity well we know that when you go and put infinity in here that's 1 divided by 1 0 0 0 0 infinitely okay if you put infinity, so we put infinity here, and that's what it is. One with a tr with a with an infinite amount of zeros, it would equal point zero 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 infinitely to one. But if you did the same here, what would it be approaching? It's a, we know this is approaching zero because zero really equals zero with an infinite amount of zeros with a one attached to it. Well, what is this approaching? Well, this is how you find out what this is approaching. Two over x really is 2 times 1 over x. So find a limit as this approaches infinity, which is 1 with a million zeros or an infinite amount of zeros, which equals what? Equals 0 .0000, 000 infinitely times 2. That's what that equals right here. So if you times it by 2, that means that 2 times this actually equals 0 .0000 infinitely 2. So therefore, these two cannot be equal. 1 divided by x can does not equal 2 over x as x approaches infinity. Do you see? As this gets higher and higher and higher, this equals point zero 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 one infinitely. But if you do two over x, it is approaching point zero 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 two infinitely. So they're actually not equal as they approach. They're both approaching close to zero, but this is the only one, the one over x that's actually approaching zero. Do you understand? That's the only one that's actually approaching the smallest minute point. Because when you put a 2 on top and divide that, it's actually approaching 0 .000 uh, infinitely all the way to the number 2. So they're not equal. Even at infinity, as they're approaching infinity, if they could ever reach infinity, they would not be equal because this 1 will not be equal to this. Okay, because it's 1 or 2.